What's going on guys? So we are now at the towing section of the Ford Super Duty Drive event here in Phoenix or outside of Phoenix, Arizona. You can see we got all sorts of different trailers here. This is a torque toy hauler that's loaded up behind this 250 that we're about to take out. They got a reflection fifth wheel behind the 350 dually there. Over here, they have a really cool cargo trailer behind a 350. And check this out. They have a Black Series RV hooked up behind this really cool F-350 Tremor. That is such a great pairing. Look at that. That looks just perfectly paired together. That just really, really looks good together. I mean, you look at the black tones of the Black Series in general, put it behind that black Tremor. That is awesome. But before we go off in this truck, I want to look at the weight. So this trailer has a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,800 pounds. This is a heavy, heavy bumper pull travel trailer toy hauler. It has a cargo capacity of 3,452 pounds. They are using an ultra frame weight distribution setup back here. Everything looks to be sitting very nice and level. But we are going to tow this travel trailer with this F-250. Let's take a look at the numbers on this F-250. So this F-250 has a cargo rating of 2,985 pounds and a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,800 pounds. This is a Lariat trim truck. After this, we're probably going to hop into this beautiful white F-450, which is going to be loaded over 30,000 pounds. All right. We're going to get inside of this truck and hit the road. All right, guys, so we're about to hit the road. A uh, few pieces of information. The toy hauler I am hauling right now actually is weighted up to 11,000 pounds. So they have a bunch of rubber mats and weight inside of the trailer to bring it up to 11,000 pounds. So the conventional tow rating for this truck is 20,000 pounds, and the max fifth wheel towing is 15,900 pounds. So of the 20,000 pound conventional, rating that we have, we are at 11,000 pounds with this F-250 with the diesel engine. Also, this runs the 331 rear end gear ratio. It's a good gear ratio that kind of falls in between what you would expect to see on a dually with like a 410 gear ratio versus something that has a taller gear ratio. This is going to give you a good combination in between. Anyways, we are about to take off and we are going to see just how well this truck tows this trailer. One thing I always like to do before I go is just do a quick trailer brake tug. You have the gain set at 6.5, which is a good roundabout area to set your trailer brake gain. It is not a windy day today. That is the only thing that I would have liked, is if we had a good crosswind. I love to see how the wind makes the trailer react. But they have the weight distribution hitch set up well. So... I don't think we'd have too much of an issue regardless. Getting out on the road. It was very windy this morning. Yeah, the winds dropped down a bit. And this stretch here, we got a little bit of... Try a little bit of acceleration here. Up to 40. Up to 50. Man, I will tell you, this new 6.7 liter Power Stroke is amazing. It really, really effortlessly tows what is normally a pretty heavy trailer. Now this trailer, in my opinion, is too big and too heavy for a half-ton truck. Um, I know half-ton ratings have gotten really high. In my opinion, I wouldn't tow something like this with a half-ton, even if the half-ton has ratings that are capable of it, simply because a half ton's a relatively light truck. Not only that, trailers in different configurations act differently taller profile trailers like this with its length, especially with the weight and balance and where that weight is placed, can really control the dynamics of how a truck drives. And you want a heavier platform. With the F-250, it's a relatively heavy truck and it gives you that more stable towing connection to a trailer. Basically, the truck dictates more of what the trailer does as opposed to the trailer dictating what the truck does. So I know a lot of people like to make the claim that, you know, when you tow a trailer, you don't know it's back there. I 
preferably like to know a trailer's back there. As far as how effortlessly the truck tows the trailer, it does a great job. I mean, there's there's no lack of power. There's no lack of, um, of force. I don't feel as if the truck is struggling to pull the trailer. But I definitely feel the tongue weight, and I definitely feel that I'm towing something relatively heavy. The tongue weight on this trailer given the trailer's loaded up to 11,000 pounds, is gonna be in the 11 to 1,500 pound range. And again, that's a significant amount of weight. This truck has a payload capacity of upwards of 2,800 pounds, and part of that's gonna be the three of us sitting in it taking up that weight, as well as, of course, the weight that the trailer places on the back. Whenever you're hauling a travel trailer or any type of RV, you have to be very cognizant of what you have in the bed of your truck as well, because pretty much anything that you set in the back of your truck or inside the cab of your truck takes away from payload capacity. And anything you set behind the rear axles of the truck are gonna count towards hitch weight. So that's something you also wanna be very aware of. See, you know, I love half-ton trucks, but at the same time though, I would never haul a trailer like this with a half-ton truck. And that's just me personally. And I don't care what spec it is. I know that half tons have gotten really great. They go upwards of over 13,000 pounds conventional. But in my opinion, it's just too light of a truck. A three-quarter ton? It's just a much more stable platform when you haul something like this. I'm with you. I towed my 24-foot enclosed trailer around uh, with a half ton, and it was not even close to being the same mm -hmm. stability-wise and everything. I had to end up stopping and moving things around that I would normally never have to worry about. Yep. And that's the other thing. You never really know how well the trailer's been weighted and balanced from the factory. So where the slides are, how they put the weight in, where the holding tanks are, how the holding tanks react when they're full. Right. All of those things can really, really dictate how a trailer tows. Um, a lot of people will take a toy hauler like this. They'll throw a Polaris in the back of it. They'll strap it down to the back or they'll throw a couple Harley Davidsons in the back. They don't realize that they've added 2,000 pounds of, of weight behind the axles of the trailer and that removes weight from the tongue of the truck. Yeah, right. Or just like you were saying with them, if they're bringing a vehicle along with them, some of them will put gas cans you know, by yep. the fuel area you know, in the bed of the truck and that changes weight drastically. Yep, every little bit. And when you're hauling a fifth wheel, a lot of people don't realize whether it's a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, the hitch itself with a weight distribution hitch or a fifth wheel hitch is going to weigh upwards of 150 to 200 pounds or in a conventional setting, anywhere between 65 to 100 pounds. And that hitch itself is taking away tongue weight. It's taking away tongue capacity. Have you used the auto engine brake? Uh, no, the, I'm actually going to try that now. Is it already turned on? Uh, the first button it push is on will now. be full engine brake, the second one will be auto. And you're in tow haul? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so what the auto engine brake does is you can use the brake pedal or the accelerator pedal to set your speed. Mm -hmm. and then you just take your foot off the brake and the truck will do whatever it needs to do to hold that speed. Okay guys, so we are now testing the engine exhaust brake, which you have two settings on this truck. You have an on mode and then an automatic mode and of course off. But we have it set for automatic right now and it's doing a good job. And it's holding us at 30 miles an hour, 31, but it's not increasing in speed at all. And I could probably drop down significantly lower than that if I want, just to see how it holds. But yeah, it's holding the speed. And this is a relatively heavy travel trailer. This is really where your engine exhaust brake shines because when you're going down hills like this, you don't wanna be riding your brake the whole time. When you're in a gas vehicle, the engine brake on the gas vehicle does something to help, but on here you have an exhaust brake. So this exhaust brake actually prevents the truck from speeding up and it really holds it at whatever speed you want to be at and feel comfortable driving. It takes a lot of the white knuckling out of driving and it definitely alleviates some of the wear and tear that go on your brakes. Last thing you want to do is have brake fade when you're coming down a hill like this. Engine braking are so huge lately that 
as you know, with the trailer tow or the trailer industry, you see so many of them sitting on the road, the side of the road with the brakes smoking. And yep. It's one of the scariest feelings you could be in if yeah. you're hauling a big trailer and you lose your brakes. And this exhaust brake does a phenomenal job. It really does. It's, you know, I'm going to be honest that all the manufacturers have come so far in terms of exhaust brake technology on diesels. They really have. They all do an admirable job holding. But the benefit now of them all being roughly the same is that you don't have to say, well, before I was only willing to buy a Ram with the Cummins engine because it had the best trailer brake or the best diesel exhaust brake. Now you can go to GM and you can go to Ford with the Super Duty and have that very similar type experience of the confidence of knowing that your exhaust brake can easily slow down a heavier trailer. This one's doing a really good job. And to me, it feels very similar very similar to the other ones and I was very impressed with those and I'm very impressed with this one all right guys so we are just getting back um, we're gonna hop into another truck now and tow it and do the same thing but hopefully we'll get in a dually because I want to feel the difference there especially in terms of power when towing a slightly heavier trailer but this has been a cool trip this is a very very capable truck again I don't want anybody to be under the impression that you don't know you're towing a trailer with something like this, especially in a conventional towing scenario where you have the trailer hanging off the back. Fifth wheel, gooseneck, you can kind of feel that way simply because the weight is positioned differently and you essentially eliminate sway by moving the weight to the axles as opposed to behind the axle. Anyways, guys, we're going to hop in another truck, probably do another video. Hang tight. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.